from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. 48 right now. This afternoon, mid to upper 60s, sunshine. But this morning, we're going to have some clouds. And uh, today will be a flat out windy weather day. We are going to be under a wind advisory. Tomorrow's high near 70. And then the front pushes through Friday night. 7, 8 o'clock Friday night till around 1 to 2 o'clock Saturday morning. That's our window for just one or two storms near or mostly east of Tulsa. Saturday, high temperatures 49 to 50, Sunday the same, but the difference would be Saturday still features some pretty brisk winds out of the north. Sunday would be a much lighter wind. And then Monday and Tuesday, we're up a little bit. We kind of come down just a little right now for that Wednesday time period of next week. So basically, if you are watching or listening, the only exception to that would be across the Worcester and the Poto area. The wind's going to be lighter today. But we're going to have winds in this area between 25 to near 40 miles an hour. Uh, so when are they really going to crank up? We think around the 10 o'clock time period until around 1 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And this is tomorrow. I mean, the winds are not diminishing, but they won't fit into the wind advisory criteria. It'll still be quite windy tomorrow. This is Friday. Friday will have south winds at 15 to near 30 miles per hour. Today we're going to have 25 to near 40 miles per hour. And then Saturday, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. That's out of the north. That's why it's going to be blustery. Much lighter wind speeds on Sunday. Day. So how about the temperature trends? Right now we're at 48. By 6 o'clock we're into the lower 40s. This afternoon we're going to reach the mid to upper 60s. And because the winds stay elevated, they don't drop down, that means the temperature just kind of levels off tonight. It'll be in the upper 50s near 60 through the 8, 9, and 10 o'clock time period. Ahead of this cold front, this cold front, it's going to move through late Friday night, early Saturday, and it brings us some pretty chilly mornings, but near normal temperatures for that Monday and Tuesday time period. So here's the big storm system. It is moving across the Rockies tonight and tomorrow, and then by Saturday, right across the middle part of the country. This will provide severe weather across the Arklatex in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. We're going to be right on the start line Friday morning for the first part of the day. Again, don't change any plans, but there's a very slight chance, slight chance that there might be a stray shower or maybe one or two small areas of drizzle. We get into Friday evening, let's say again, seven, eight o'clock Friday night until maybe one or two o'clock Saturday morning. It's a slight chance near Tulsa, all right? A little bit more to the east near Muskogee and Tahlequah. That's about a 30 to a 40% opportunity. And then the likely category would be right on the Oklahoma, Arkansas state line area Friday night. This is the severe weather risk assessment. Right now, it's still a low probability for severe storms in mostly extreme southeastern Oklahoma into Arkansas. Once that passes, we have another system Wednesday. It, it, that one might kind of fall apart, but next weekend, we're going to have a stronger storm system that will be nearing the area. So a wind advisory today. Tomorrow, slight chance for a little spot of drizzle or shower tomorrow morning. And then Friday night, we have lowered the probability for the Tulsa Metro, but it's still, you know, pretty good chance across the far eastern areas. Saturday is blustery. North winds at 20 to 30 miles per hour for all those parades. Monday back to school and work at 57.